Hey guys, welcome back. And today, we're going to fix a battery in this Texas Instruments BA2 Plus calculator. Let's get to it. Okay guys, we're going to change the battery in this Texas Instruments BA2 Plus calculator. Uh, if you look at the, when you turn it on, the uh, the zeros are pretty faint, so we're going to attempt to fix this by changing the battery. Um, it is not a normal, easily accessed battery, so we're going to take our our small screwdriver and we're going to remove these four screws, and then we're going to have to pry this apart. So let's get to it. Okay guys, it is, this strip right, or this screw right here is stripped, so I'm going to reach for another screwdriver, see if we can get that out. I'm going to try this little bigger screwdriver, see if we can force this thing down. There we go. So you're probably going to want to use a screwdriver about that size to prevent stripping screws. Now we need to basically get in between right here and pry this apart okay now we can see this is the battery right here we're gonna have to remove these two screws to get the battery out Okay, we take our new battery and we slide it in with the lettering facing down. So there's the lettering, the plus. Let's face that down. And then we put it back together. Okay, now that we have the battery back in place, we take the back place it down and snap it back into place. Now that the back is back in place, we go ahead and we place our screws, four screws back in and they're all the same size so it's okay if you get them mixed up to where they were there you go guys that's how you change uh, the calculator uh, the BA2 plus Texas Instruments calculator battery uh, for reference that's a 2032 battery uh, you can pick those up on an Amazon link down below um, or you can pick up the calculator brand new on Amazon, link down below. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, that's all we have for today. I hope this helps someone out there with their calculator. Thanks for watching. We will see you next time.